lot of different people, don't we? And we, we um, constantly receive objections, right? Because people, again, they're either ignorant, they're not educated, whatever. It's not the right time for them. Whatever. We hear all kinds of silly stuff. That maybe we thought before, too. We, we heard, oh, it's one of those pyramid things, right? We hear that stuff all the time. They just don't understand. But, you know, there, there are a lot of different people we deal with. A lot of different people. And how many guys, raise your hand, a show of hands, really high. How many joined the company after you tried the product? Wow. Awesome. Awesome. How many of you guys joined the company because um, you had a friend that was having success in the company? Like Whitney's forehead. Like Whitney's forehead, yes. That was definitely good, like Whitney. Your forehead rocked. <laughs> How many of you guys in the room, when you saw it, you didn't have to try the product? You, just, you, 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 you knew it. Like, how many guys? Raise your hand. Okay? How many guys have no idea how you got here? You <laughs> got <laughs> a couple. <laughs> right. So, um, this, this, this is very important, guys. Very important. So, you know, we, all, we take, we, we, it matters to us when people tell us no, doesn't it? Especially our closest friends, our family. It, 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 it hurts sometimes, you know? We get excited about it, and they say, oh, you're one of those things. Oh, you don't do that. I'm worried about you. You know, whatever. You know, people care about us. So they, think it's, they think it's bad. They, it's not, they think it's like they did back in the day. They lost tons of money. You know, listen, if I was, if I was, if, if that first company was my last company, I'd probably be telling people that. Oh, my gosh. You, you don't join one of those things. I lost $80,000 credit card debt. Got my car repoed. Say bankruptcy? Oh, don't do that. Right? I would be that, I would be that person. So they're out there, and it's okay. They just don't understand. Those are the people that date once and they, they stay single forever. Because it didn't work out. Some of you guys know people like that. You have friends that still live with their parents and they're like 50. We all know them, but we're all know those people. <laughs> I know some people do that. Sorry. <laughs> but um, so my point to this, guys, okay? My point when someone tells you no, you're gonna get it. You know, celebrate the no's. You know, we, some of you guys have heard, heard that for a long time. You know, um, Aaron Ranger's not here. But Aaron, Aaron, she's not here for a good reason, by the way, because I, I hammered her the other day. She's not coming to the regional, but she's she's doing something very important for her team. But Aaron posted something uh, just a few days ago on Facebook. Some of you guys may have read it. And she said, you know, she doesn't understand why someone on her team you know, gets really down when someone tells them no. She, she posted something beautiful, saying, you know, ah, I get so excited. I get so excited. When somebody tells me no, because, you know, we're, we're one, closer to, one, one step closer to a yes, right? You guys have heard that before, but get good. And this is why I gave you this Q-tip, okay? I want you to carry this with you. Don't carry it like this. <laughs> what's up? Let me tell you about something. <laughs> don't, don't carry it like that, but carry it with you. Put it in your planner, put it somewhere, put it in your pocket, and leave home. Don't leave home without it. Okay? Put it somewhere with you. So I want you to remember this. When you go out and you're prospecting, you're doing your daily activities, whatever you're doing, whatever it is you're doing, but you're going to be talking about near it, doing your daily activities. So when someone tells you no, I want you to remember the q -tip. I want you to remember this. Okay? Quit taking it. Personal. Quit, quit, quit. It's not about you. Remember that. Some of you guys are still like, what? What? Quit taking it personal. Q tip. Q T I P. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, just remember that. Okay, put it somewhere. Don't take it personally. It's not about you guys. Who, who cares if they sell? They say no. Don't get it, don't get kicked out of the business because someone else doesn't understand it. Okay? Some of you guys are gonna wear them around like all the time now. <laughs> Instead of a cigarette, you're gonna wear the Q-tip. That's right. What's up? So I got my Q-tip. I don't care if you get in, I got my Q-tip. <laughs> guys, this is a fun business. Have fun with it, okay? Have fun. This business is so much fun. Can you guys tell I have fun? I love this, okay? People are attracted to fun. Some people aren't. Who cares? We don't want them. They're not fun people. Okay? <laughs> but have fun. Okay? 
So if this makes you happy, carry around with you. Remember this moment. We take it personally. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All right. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna invite out Mr. Raylan in there. Am I Raylan and Mike? You guys, do me a favor. Uh, Raylan and Mike, uh, uh, with, along with a, a whole staff of people, a lot of leaders in the area, and, you know, they are the people that are responsible for these regionals now. Mindy just, Mindy said, you know what? She turned it over. She said, you guys, you guys do it. Mindy used to do it. Now she said, you know, you guys do it. Mindy did it long enough. She said, you know what? You guys are capable. And they took it over. So they're responsible for getting this room. Responsible for everything, everything else it entails. So you guys do me a favor. I, I love these two. I know you guys that know them. I love these two. I love these two because they have huge hearts. I mean, they really do. I mean, people that don't like them, man, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Ray Lynn's a fireball. Woo! <laughs> She's a fireball. She really is, you know. Uh, but you know what? I, I, I call her. I call her mom. That's what I call her. What's up, mom? She goes, I'm not your mom. I said, I'm not your mama. I said, no. You know what you are, Ray Lynn? She goes, what? I go, you're a maniac on a mission. Yeah, she is. You know what? You guys know the story. Mike it took Mike a long time. Oh, she was killing it. Mike said, "You know what? Man, I don't even do this too. I want to hang out with my wife all day." He quit his job and does it full time. I mean, that's awesome stuff like that. Man, that makes me so happy. I remember when Mike, when he was like this back in the day. Who's this guy, Danny Gasser, coming to our house? <laughs> you know, remember those stories? I love it. We talk about it all the time. You know, so all these things that happen to you guys in the team, remember it, man. Remember these times. Write them down, whatever, videotape them, take as many pictures as you can. Because I mean, it's been two years or something like that since I did my first three-way call with Ray Lynn. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget some three-way calls I never forget. And she was one of them. I love these people. You know, my sister can't wait to meet these two. Because it's funny. <laughs> my sister came in the business, that's another story. She came in the business finally after 16 years of meeting in the industry. My sister became friends with a lot of people, you know, and, and she goes, Man, who's this Ray Lynn girl? I go, why? She goes, Man, I love her post. She's like, no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to swear twice. <laughs> you know, and, and she goes, Man, I love her post. Can I steal her stuff? I'm like, No, don't steal her stuff. The kicky butt. <laughs> I go, No, this is the only steal her stuff. She goes, Oh, my God. So my sister, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, my sister's not excited to meet Jeff Olsen, she's excited to meet Mike Raylin. <laughs> she really is. She really is. I, I love them. You know, I love them. I, I, listen, I love all of you. Um, but, you know, and, and you guys are all special. Don't, don't, don't hear that, oh my gosh, it's favorite, there was favorites. It's not true. I love all of you. You all have special qualities that I know. Those of you that I know, I love you guys. If I don't know you, I still love you. Because you're still family, you know. I'm going to turn over to them, and they're going to do some recognition. Uh, you can do some recognition right now, too, if you want. Go to that slide. Do you recognition for the... Oh, I'll do the slide. I got the thing. <laughs> 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 you want to do it now or later? We'll do that. Later. We'll come do it later? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mike, really get up. I promise I'm not going to yell at y'all. <laughs> Gosh, you yell a lot, Aaron. Dang. Okay, um, first of all, um, Aaron is right. It, you know, it does take an army to, to put this um, event on. And before um, Mike and I were handed the, um, the trophy to do this, and I, and I do say trophy because it's an honor for us, for us to put this event on for you all. Um, I didn't realize. I just came here and went upstairs and got my Starbucks and sat in my seat. And I, I really didn't put a lot of thought into what all, you know, goes on um, to putting this event on. But um, it, it, it's fun and it is a lot of work, but it's, it's an honor. And we don't do it um, by ourselves. There's a lot of people that help us. And, and um, we, we want to honor just a few of those people. Um, well, we want to honor all of them. But um, one big thing that would, this would never happen is without Carl. You guys have no idea how early he gets here. And I'm going to cry because he straps all this stuff on his back. <laughs> 
I don't, you guys can't even see all this stuff up here, but I mean, he has a dolly and he goes in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. And not only does he do that, thank you, but he stays after. When we're all upstairs having drinks and having fun and chips and dip and taking pictures, Carl's still down here tearing down the screen and taking all his stuff out. Does everybody realize that? No. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Sir. So maybe maybe this time before you go upstairs you might want to go up and say, Hey Carl, can I give you a hand? I know a lot of you guys in here could, you know, really help him out and then he could come up and have drinks with us and chips and stuff. So <laughs> And there are a few that stay behind, and we appreciate you. I know uh, last time there was a few guys that stayed behind, so uh, feel free to stay behind and help us pick up, because it doesn't take long. The more of us uh, that we can get picked up, the quicker we get up there to having fun. So, well, what else can we... You guys have, have met Aaron. You know what a huge personality, uh, what an inspiration he is to all of us. You know, when they say have fun when you do this job, he is the epitome of having fun at his job. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're very honored and privileged to have him here. He's got a family back in Maryland that miss him very much. We were, uh, he was on the phone with him this morning and his little daughter is, is he put her on speakerphone and she's as cute as can be. So we appreciate him taking time away from his family to be here with us, to help us grow our business um, and, and be more successful. So, Aaron, we got a little, where did he go? He's in the bathroom? What the heck? <laughs> well, I said all these nice things. I, I love it. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. But we, we, we got him a nice card and, and the leadership in the room. The, we all went together. Uh, we all uh, really appreciate him helping our teams grow and get better. So we've got a card for him. And you want to... Um, one more person that I want to um, call out and, and give a little gift to this time. Um, again, some people might not realize all the things that go into the success of this um, this event and um, and going forward with Dennis. Um, who sees these awesome flyers that you can uh, post on your Facebook page and send you text to your friends and and get people to the market parties. Who sees all those on Facebook? Does anyone know who is responsible for all those? Miss Vicky Pike. Come on up here, sister. speaker because every speaker says different things and every speaker is passionate about a different thing and you're different every 30 days we're different actually every day we're different every minute we're different so don't think oh I just I already came last month I don't need to come I went two months ago I already saw that guy I saw him last year he was good I saw him though he's good I mean that's probably what some of the people that aren't here on your team are thinking and it's your job as leaders to recondition that because Aaron's not the same as he was last year, for sure. He yells more this time. <laughs> Aaron's great. 
right? He's so great. <laughs> He's great. So um, a couple months ago, um, Nick and Natalie Sorensen were here, and they shared with us um, something that they do, and they put, you know how Aaron said the training wheel? If you guys follow the training wheel, that you'll be you'll get to NMD. So not only did we hear that, because sometimes you hear things, and honestly, you hear things that they're like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea, and only 10 of you will go home and actually do it. It's crazy. You know, Jim Rohn said at the very first convention, um, we, he was on, he, they, they showed a little uh, clip of him, and he said, I can stand up, I'm Jim Rohn, I, I'm, I'm a pretty big deal, and I can stand up and tell people, this is my favorite book, you need to go out and buy this book today. Like, don't go home until you go get this book. What in the world? Y'all, okay, y'all don't even know what's going on back there. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> share this with you and thank you Jen for going and get these copies made. Jen and Mindy just went down to Louisiana with Ginger and they took these as um, some prizes and we thought that was an awesome idea. So we're going to give away magazines are awesome that's why we give away magazines but we're going to do this this time. Everybody get your ticket out.